to talk about the Titanodon Color Touch PC. Before we get started, it's important to make sure that we have everything on hand that we'll need. The first thing that you should have is your calibration kit. Inside your calibration kit, you'll find four calibration standards. The 90 and the fluorescent standard are your primary standards, and 60 and 70 are used to verify measurement linearity. The next thing that you'll find is your calibration CD, which is inside your white envelope. Now it's important to verify that the serial number on the CD matches the serial number that's on the standards. And finally, you'll find your color touch verification form and your calibration data sheet. The last thing that you should have, which came with your instrument, is your black cup. Once you have all of this together, you've got your computer hooked up to your instrument and your software up and running, you're ready to go ahead and get started. You want to make sure that all measurement presentation screens are closed, so we'll go to File and select Close. From this main screen, we'll go to System and Primary Calibration. Here we'll just press Next, since C and D65 are the default preferences. And go ahead and push Start. Once your CD is loaded, you'll press Load File and select Cal Standards Lab. The CD will automatically fill in the values, and you can go ahead and press Load File. Our next step is to load our black cup, and we'll press Measure. This is to set the zero level for the calibration. Next, it wants us to load our 90 standard. It's important to verify that the serial number on the 90 standard matches the one that the computer is giving you. As long as it does, we can go ahead and move that printout, as well as the cover sheet back, and we'll load our standard. We're going to press the green button on the side of the instrument to measure. Now it's doing the initial spectral calibration at the multiple filter positions you're going to hear a series of motor noises. That's just the UV filters and the internal swing-in standard working. Next, it wants us to load our fluorescent standard. Now the serial number for the fluorescent standard is on the back. So once we verify that that matches what the computer is giving us, we can go ahead and move that front sheet, load our standard, and press the green button to measure. This is to establish proper filter position for the D65 and C sources. When that's finished, our next step is to load our black cup and press measure. This is to verify the zero levels at each of the calibration positions. Finally, our last step is to reload our 90 standard and to press measure. This is the last verification of calibration at each filter position, and it's also the final calibration of the internal swing-in standard at each filter position. Once that's done, we can press Finish, and it should take you back to the home page. If you want to verify measurement linearity, you can touch the 60 and the 70 standards. If you have any questions or problems with your instrument, you can refer to your Technodon Operator's Manual, you can call Technodon, or you can check out the website.